I'm Ross Johnson. I'm the director of LCMS Disaster Response, and we're here at the seminary in Nagarkoil, India, Concordia Theological Seminary. This is one of the historic mission spots of the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod. I'm Reverend Dr. Sam Thompson. I'm the project director for Concordia Seminary Disaster Relief Project here. Uh, Concordia Seminary is one of the oldest seminary in India. It is about 95 years old. The seminary is built by missionaries to train pastors and leaders for church in India and also in South Asia. Recently, we were hit by a, a big Oki cyclone and it devastated the entire campus. The campus have to be shut down and students have to be sent home. When we got the emails about a year and a half ago, that many of the historic buildings were devastated by a hurricane, our hearts sank. Over 40 trees were down on the campus. Electrical poles were down. Almost all the buildings, the roofs were severely damaged or torn off. Water damage was all over the campus and in all the buildings, the historic campus was in ruins. We were struggling to rebuild and now what happened is we, were, we, we came to know about uh, uh, LCMS disaster response. Uh, within one week, we learned that uh, uh, the LCMS disaster response is willing to step in to help us. The leadership at the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod, along with President Harrison, said we must respond. We cannot not help in a situation like this. So approximately two months after the storm, I showed up at the seminary with a small team of disaster responders from the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod and the Asia region. So we started putting an action plan together of how we can work together step by step with the Indian Lutheran Church. We developed a plan to rebuild the campus. In a few minutes you're going to be seeing some of the different places across the campus that were devastated by the storm that we rebuilt, making sure that this campus is safe secure and sanitary and will withstand future storms. Hopefully the work that we have started along with the Indian Lutheran Church rebuilding this will last for 50 to 100 more years. And when we came through, the roof was ripped off of the majority of this building. Water had damaged the walls, the electrical and everything that was in the building. So they had to get this building all the way down to the block and rebuild it from there. Dr. Thompson, could you talk about some of the changes and improvements that you've made after the storm has come through, such as the tiling and the walls? Yeah, as you mentioned, when the uh, cyclone hit, the whole uh, the, um, the top thing was, uh, the roofing was all gone, destroyed, and the ceiling was all uh, coming out, falling apart, and these windows were all damaged. And then what we have to do is put the new roofs and put the new ceiling. Uh, the ceiling was there, but we had to repair it everything and sand it and put the varnish and uh, uh, renovate it. And then uh, we discovered that the wiring was very old, at least 70 or 80 years old, and it was short-circuited in several places. So we have to rewire it, and then the wall needed re-strengthening. So we re-strengthened the wall and re-plastered the wall. And then also what we did is refloored it. The flooring was also about 70 to 80 years old, so we have to do the reflooring. And also we put a new crucifix here to remind us uh, about uh, the theology, uh, theology of the cross. When the seminary was built in the early 1930s, one of the first things that they did was to build a chapel because worship life was at the forefront of everything that they do here at the seminary. After the hurricane went through and devastated many of the buildings, the leadership here also believed that the first building that should be restored is the chapel. And so the building that we're in right now is the first recipient of the grant money that was been generously donated by LCMS members from across the United States. They slowly, painstakingly restored a lot of the woodwork that had been damaged by the rain, the water, the roof was replaced, the walls were re rebuilt, and the floors were redone. Standing in the middle of the reconstructed library at Concordia Theological Seminary in Niagara India, when we first came here after the storm, the ceiling was 
ripped off, water had come in, water had gone through the walls, damaged the electrical work that had been done, but also a lot of the books had been damaged. A lot of work has been done, they've replastered, they've redone the walls, they've repainted, put new electricity in, and they put new tile flooring in. Dr. Thompson, could you tell us a little bit about how this building is being used? Uh, now this is used as a facility for students to come here and study. We can accommodate about 50 students can, who can come and check out the books and do their homeworks and study here. So this is a wonderful place. And also we have done, uh, uh, in front of me you can, uh, there is a uh, computer lab there. So students who do not have computers or laptops, they can come in and type their assignments and do online uh, studies and we have a e-book library about 20,000 uh, 20, e-books are there they can do research here so it is much better and, and uh, we are so grateful that with the help of LCMS disaster response uh, we were able to rebuild this uh, place for the students use after OK disaster okay this is Concordia seminary archives and we are now have a partnership with Congoria Historical Institute and um, Dr. Um, Daniel Harmeling is assisting us to rebuild this uh, archives, reconstruct this archives. On the fourth convention of the Indian Evangelical Lutheran Church. Wow. This archives is so important because we have about 14,000 rare documents um, of the IELC and uh, uh, millennium history, uh, ranging over 125 years. So yeah, th th this is the account uh, register uh, used by the first missionary, Reverend Theodore Nathan. It was in a bad condition. Now we process the for uh, coming generation. Yeah. We have the history of the three synods, Trivandrum, Nagarkovil, and the Ambur Synod, and also the history of uh, uh, Millim missions in India. And this is the only place in India where you, we have these rare documents. Yeah, this is a faculty housing. Uh, it is built in 1959. And, uh, but because of our uh, lack of uh, uh, shortage of uh, buildings for students, now three family students are staying here. So this is a three bedroom house and now it is occupied by three families, student families. Yeah, in the cyclone this uh, building was destroyed like uh, the parapets and also at several places were destroyed and in the phase two of uh, uh, LCMS disaster response uh, intervention we rebuilt, uh, reconstructed this, uh, this house. When we visited the campus right after the hurricane hit, we came into the kitchen where they were cooking for the students, and I was absolutely shocked. Shocked at the condition, shocked at the damage, shocked at the hole in the roof. Uh, so one of the priorities that we had when we rebuilt this seminary was to start with the kitchen to make sure that it was safe, secure, and sanitary, and that it would last further storms. Yeah, with the help of LCS. And CMS disaster response this whole place was uh, reconstructed actually we previously just had this room and then one room there and one, one, one small room there for this entire kitchen and this room is now a modern kitchen which uses uh, uh, gas with, we have the gas towels here and we have a countertop here and uh, the next uh, room what we have is a traditional kitchen which will use uh, firewoods and then we have an extra storage building uh, room here which will store groceries and uh, rice and things like that and then another serving room there and we also do have an, another room there, a big work area if a, PR, if a pastor refresher course or a uh, seminary hosts a big conference, uh, conference we will have enough place for people to work, more uh, workers to work and cut their vegetables and to, uh, to do the work. So one of the speciality of this room is now it is naturally lit room. Like uh, in the last time what we had is it was a dark room, it was full dark, this room was full dark. So in your fruit research and uh, some other things we have all had not even know, but now it is naturally lit and you have uh, 
a lot of uh, ventilation with this for oil. One of the things that has made a big impression on me here in India as we've been rebuilding this seminary after the hurricane is the amount of appreciation that the Lutheran Church in India and the seminary faculty has had for you, those who have financially sacrificed giving to LCMS disaster response so that projects like this could be done. We are so grateful that LCMS Disaster Response has uh, stepped in to help us and without LCMS Disaster Response uh, we would not have been able to rebuild or uh, reconstruct the seminary so that the training of uh, uh, pastors here would not have been possible. Thank you. We want to thank uh, the LCMS Disaster Response and his director, Rev. Dr. Ross G. Rossi Johnson uh, for his uh, great help towards our seminary. And I also want to thank all the donors in the U.S. Uh, who contributed specifically to LCMS Disaster Response because your support helped to rebuild this seminary and help us to continue this important uh, ministry. So a big thank you to all the sponsors and supporters uh, back in America. Thank you.